Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Ever Dream Valley. One of the most anticipated games that's coming out uh, eventually in the future, right? I think I speak for a lot of people saying that uh, <laughs> we're all waiting for this one. If you're into the cozy kind of farming life sim games, this is definitely on your radar. And if it's not on your radar, then it should probably be on your radar now, today. So just know that. <laughs> Uh, so what is Every Dream Valley? Every Dream Valley is a mix of adventure, exploring, crafting, and farming mechanics that will help you really live the times when summer holidays were an amazing adventure. Now, there has been changes. Uh, there was a time where there this demo that we're playing the demo, by the way. This is a let's look at Every Dream Valley. Um, there was a time where the demo was different than how it is today. So the demo is new, I guess you could say, at least it's newer, where it has before where it was before this is developed by moon eaters and also published by varsov game studios you can add this to your wish list on steam right away if you want to if you enjoy what you see in today's stream and i believe there is also going to be a release for the N nintendo switch as well so if you are on the nintendo switch you can probably guess this game is going to be out for the nintendo switch as well and the one thing i really like about this game first off is i believe they they are also going to be releasing this game as a full release and they're not going to be releasing an early access at least that's what i've heard things could change obviously but at least where it stands right now i believe this game is going to be full release when it is or when it does come out now what is the release date to this game there is none there's no release date to this game hopefully we'll find out sooner or later about that uh, in the near future but yeah make sure to go follow them on twitter follow evergreen valley on twitter add it to your wish list all that good stuff and uh yeah let's go ahead and jump into today's uh, video i don't know how to, how long today's stream is going to be because this is the demo after all just a let's look at um but if you want to see this game come to the channel when it does fully release please make sure to hit the like button comment down below if you're watching this in the replay let me know and i will gladly bring it to the channel and we'll see where it takes us right absolutely hope everyone's having a good day today good to see everyone and all that good stuff how you doing Susie? how you doing yeah gaming black raver amanda natalie cassie neverly masumi karen uh, jeanette rpg gamer cash Haley, j rock uh, ebony natalie i think maybe i say natalie jessica and jess Dinka as well two you know different uh say uh sends there if there's anybody else that i haven't um said hello to you can say hello and i'll make sure to say hi to you how you doing kitty how you doing amanda what's going on what's my twitter handle it's in the description down below you can find my links down below in the description let's go ahead and jump into a new game shall we now i think this game is on a timed demo i think i think that's what i read so we're at this we'll have to see how you doing danielle smith what's going on okay so let's see what we got going on here hmm. you got male or female very well Player name, I mean, obviously, come on now. We know what we're going to do here. Okay. Head. Looks like there might be more possible uh, customization features in the, in the future. Ears. Give him the biggest ears you got. Hair. If you have my hair, I'll be happy, but you don't. I don't think you do. No. That's all right. Noses. You have a lot of noses. Body color? The palest of the pale? Eyebrows? The biggest of the big? <laughs> Eyes? The widest of the wide. Um. Oh, is this like a smirk? What kind of mouth is this? Oh, yeah. All right. Can I get like the most like sarcastic smirk of all time? That's kind of good. Thank you. Cool. All right. I like this so far. There probably will be a lot more um, customization options. Now, one thing I'm looking at right now is, like, just the character creation itself looks really good. It does. And the shoes. Look at the shoes. The shoes, like, look fantastic. Nice. <laughs> Bree Witch. How you doing, Bree Witch? What's going on? Hey, Rachel. How you doing? It's, I'll be lurking two more hours at work today. Oh, very well. Still, let's jump in. Let's see what this is all about. Everdream Valley, ladies and gentlemen. What is this all about? about it's a time demo i played it and it's pretty cool okay time demo all right so I, at least that's a confirmation right that's good that's good hey crystal crystal with 17 months of support let's freaking go thank you very much crystal 17 months big shout to you that is awesome thank you thank you very much okay 
first things first you see is this forehead is in the way. So let's go ahead and move that off to the side. And there we go. Wow. All right. Look at this world. So I do see demo time. I see game days left. There's four. There's actual time time in the bottom left hand corner. There's day one. There's quests. Uh, mark quests in general to show progress here. If the music's too loud, just let me know. But if not, then good. Uh, let's see here. Quests. That's okay. So journal quest. Very well. Cool. Cool. Oh, wow. What is this? This looks like, uh, yeah, like a nice co uh, co uh, <laughs> coconut smile. No. Wow. Look at the game. This is cool looking so far. Look at it. I I'll be real with you. Like, I know the stream and the pixelation and the video resolution isn't going to do justice today, but my lord, if you play this game for yourself, it looks really, really good. The uh, the colors are popping, man. Everything is so... Yeah, exactly. Everything is so green, including the smells. I better talk to my grandfather before I get bitten by some carrots. Uh, how does the minimap work? In the lower left on the screen is a minimap. It marks the most important characters and places in the game, such as grandpa and grandma. During the game, look out for yellow and orange markers on the minimap. They indicate that there is a dialogue or task waiting for you at that location. Where are the tutorials? A lot of this is information, right? That's because there's always something to do in Everdream Valley. But don't worry, if you ever want to go back to any of the tutorials, just look at the select menu very well. All right, look at this. Wow. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Find, uh, talk to your grandfather and find him. Okay, find and talk to your grandfather. Oh, this is neat. Oh, there he is. There's somebody walking on the hill. Older gentleman. Possibly grandfather. Probably is, right? Has a yellow marker above him, too, so... Gotta think that's him. Wow. So, quest. Find your grandfather complete. So, how to run faster... Okay, sprint with the shift button. We're very familiar with that. Look at that. Grandfather looks fantastic. I heard a chicken. Okay, so, like, right off the bat, the... the the art style here is, I think, what's what's taking me for a loop here. Let's talk to Grandfather. I'm kind of block Now I'm Grandfather. Hi, Grandpa. Hello. Why the gloomy face? Aren't you enjoying your vacation? I'm glad, but Mom and Dad were supposed to be here, too. Well, unfortunately, they could not leave their jobs. But I guarantee you that <laughs> you will find enough company here. If you say so, I guess. I have a suggestion for you. I heard that the traveling merchant also deals with stray animals. If you replace me in some farm jobs then i will find him and see if he has taken in any dogs recently show that you can take care of those around you and he may let you take care of one of them very good first uh, trying to fix the old chicken coop for this you will need a hammer and an axe okay so how to use the axe you can use the axe to chop wood or destroy things to so destroy things something such as a fence use the axe on it in the same way prepare the heart or prepare to harvest wood if the wood did not fall out of the tree after you hit it, it means that you will cut it down completely in a while. After three days, the tree will regenerate and you will harvest wood from it again. Okay, so there's regeneration. That's nice. Okay, so it does look like there's one, two, three. We can scroll with the mouse wheel. I like it. I like it a lot. So fix the chicken coop. Okay, so fixing the chip coop, chicken coop. One thing, one. One thing, one. One thing at a time here, right? All right, let's get some wood. I'm this. Yeah, uh, this is kind of cool, right? <laughs> this is kind of cool i like it so far i'm liking what i'm seeing Ooh, uh oh uh, that's a little weird uh there we go what is this oh that's the tree stump now i wonder what i need exactly for the chicken coop maybe i need a bunch of wood maybe i need not a lot of wood maybe not too much what is this yeah or this trash i guess trash boards logs i don't know what i need they said wood right so i might as well look at it <clears throat> this frog look at this like this like this like this run this is a happy person <laughs> chicken coop press the hold missing four wood okay so uh, all right right okay so i'm missing like what four wood what is it 15 wood you need for this because we have 11 all right i see you i know i'm with an axe dude watch out check it out there we go uh no i do not want to disassemble that there we go there we go. Cool, cool, cool. I'm liking it. All this trash here, too. Let's pick this up. I kind of wish F and swing were swapped. I wish pickup was E and F was swing, but that's all right. Uh, fix and hold this. There you go. 
Repairing the chicken coop. Congratulations. <laughs> it didn't say congratulations. It said congratulations. All right. So we have the chicken coop up and running, I guess, right? Completed. Okay. So we have completed and we have active. It doesn't say that we have anything active, but maybe we go back to grandpa. I think we have to fix some of this stuff too, right? I kind of want to anyways. There we go. Like a nice, you know, fix the wooden gate, dude. Absolutely. Seems like a fun cartoon world. I'm kind of feeling it too. Hey, Michael, how's it going? <clears throat> Love the way he skips around. Hey, not given. How you doing, not given? I don't know if there's like a stamina bar or anything. There is. It seems like there is a stamina bar above our map. Interesting. Hello, Grandpa. Chicken coop fixed, Grandpa. Excellent work. I have one more task for you. Uh, find the chickens that lived in the chicken coop. Last night, something got into the farm, scared the chickens, and destroyed their house. They probably hid the, in the bushes near the farm. A wooden sword will do best with the bushes in the grass. Also, take these uh, dungarees. Dungarees? They belong to your dad. Dungarees. They are better suited for scrub running. Scrub running? How would you change clothes? Wait, you can change clothes, like, on the go? You can change your clothes at any time. That's pretty cool. To do this, select uh, menu tab by hitting, or menu by hitting tab. Some clothes you will find, others you will buy, and some you will sew. Whoa. All right. All of them, regardless of their origin, will go to this place. So three ways to get clothes. Buy, find, sew. When you find a hen, catch it and bring it back to the chicken coop or just chase it near the coop. Okay. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of interested in this clothes thing, though. So out of curiosity, do we have anything? Doesn't seem like we have anything at all. Which, you know, makes sense. But that is just curiosity. Lower. Oh, oh, put on the overalls, dude. You got to put on the overalls. I was dressed up in overalls as a kid, right? Yeah. So find all the chickens and bring them back to the chicken coop. They're going to be in this area over here. Oh, well, there's one right there popping around. Now, it is kind of interesting. Can I actually... Um, can I actually... Uh, like change my hot bar around because like we have the sword here maybe it'll teach us so what are zones sometimes you receive a task large orange circles will appear on the mini map their presence mean that you only approximately know the direction or the location of your goal the object person or place you need to reach may be anywhere inside that zone obviously right so that chicken <laughs> that chicken indeed oh my god look at him hey come here come no can I, I want to pick him up. Can I pick him up? I don't want to swing at him. I am chasing him, though. Maybe I'll just chase him to the chicken. Yo, 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 yo. Pick up. Sick. Look at that. Hey. Th th that chicken is absolutely adorable. Can I have, like, chicken, like, plushy of that? Please and thank you. That is so cool. What an adorable looking chicken. It kind of reminds me of, like, Harvest Moon or Story of, the, or Story of Seasons in a way. Yeah. I kind of like that. <laughs> now what? We just kind of throw it in there? Now, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, so it actually worked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he knows where his house is. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. That was amazing? I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I hope it doesn't take too long for the game to be released. I know. I really hope it doesn't either. I hope we're not looking at a long release. Hopefully, maybe sometime this year. That's what I'm hoping. Come here, chicken. I want you. Yeah. Oh, very good. And then slap it right there. Very, very cool. All right. So that's two chickens. One more over here. I watched someone play this last night. The chickens' names are Rachel, Monica, and Phoebe. No freaking way. You're you're kidding. Are you serious about that? Are you serious about that? I think those are apple trees. Okay. Apple trees and then the last chicken. Yeah. So can we actually shake the apple tree or do we knock down the apple tree? No, it looks like you could just shake it and then get some apples out of it. Cool. The way the um, stuff actually kind of like goes about, like how the, the I guess the physics, right, of the, of the fruit falling from the tree, it's kind of nice, right? What a strange stone. It has an X on it. Can I actually hit that? Maybe with the hammer? Or do we get like a pickaxe or something? Maybe not. Hello, chicken. Come here. Thank you. All right, we'll take this one back too. Cool. It is very adorable, right? Can I get a squishmallow of that chicken? That's what I'm saying. 
Give me the biggest, like, plush you have of that chicken right now. Now, if the chickens are this cute, you have to assume that the cows are this cute. No? Give me a cow. Show me a cow. So, th we, there we go. We are a chicken collector, not a chicken kicker. Ah, right. Very well. Let's go talk to Grandpa and to let Grandpa know that we finished up. Oh, what is this? Pick up another axe? There's multiple axes laying around? Chickens. Strange stone. Uh, let's do chickens first. All the chickens have come home. Bravo. It looks like we are ready to take in a dog. I have already talked to the merchant. What? There's a dog? Run to him and choose your new friend. However, remember that a dog is also a responsibility and you must take care of it. Of course, Grandpa. Um, yo. What kind of dog? Please. I all I ask for is a dachshund. I there needs to be more games where there's dachshunds. More dachshunds. You can pet the chickens too? The poor apple tree looks like it's been kicked so much. <laughs> like, I just want a dachshund. Give me, give me a game with a dog. Dude, this is actually really cool looking. Look at that. Look at that, like, ox, yeah? Look at... Hang on a sec. Let me just enjoy this. Look at that. That's an awesome cart. I guess we are a child, yeah? Okay. Hello, merchant. Four-legged friend. Good morning. Well, good morning to you. Hello, Smick. What brings you to my humble abode? Look at that. Grandpa said you were involved in rescuing stray dogs and that I can take one of them in. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, I spoke with your grandfather. He mentioned that he has a new helper on the farm. However, he did not say that it was about someone so young. Are you sure you can take care of a living creature? Remember that a dog is a social animal. He needs a lot of exercise and companionship. I also need the company. And I promise to take care of the dog as it deserves. As it deserves? <laughs> we have chickens on the farm, and so far it's going quite well with them. Chickens, you say? Well, the dog is a little bit bigger, but maybe you can actually handle it. Chickens can be very stubborn. Well, you can take care of, it, of one of my charges. Stop by f from time to time to tell me how he's doing. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god this is like a little sheepdog oh yeah it is a sheepdog it's an old english sheepdog oh my lord look at you a malamute i'll be real with you never heard of a malamute a german shepherd very familiar with the german shepherd a chow chow also familiar with the chow chow a greater swiss mountain dog why couldn't it have been a bella a bernice a St. Bernard? Dude, there's so many of them! The Newfoundland? An Akita? A Shibby? Hey! This is awesome! I really like the, uh... I like the big selection of dogs here. Look at this. That's true. Dachshunds are not good at rounding sheep. <laughs> I think I'm gonna probably pick the dog that looks the closest to Bella. I mean, this is obviously Bella, right? Do I get to name the dog? Do I get to name the dog? Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. You son of a gun. Easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life. That decision right there. Wow. Well, it's good to see you. I don't know where the hell he or she went. <laughs> she kind of took off, so. Um, yeah. Oh, there she is. Uh, Bella. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I, you, you're, you're my life now. Didn't you know that? Hold the pet. That thing is massive. Oh, hold two pet. Wow. Dude, what is this game? What are we on now? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> And like I said, this game should be coming to Nintendo Switch. I believe they have plans for it to come to Switch. Just like that, Bella takes off as soon as we get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. Uh, let's talk about our new dog, Bella. Grandpa, the dog keeps running away from me. It's because she, let's call it a she, not a he. Let's call it a she, because it's Bella. She doesn't know you well yet, and the farm is full of new sounds and smells. 
takes a stick and show it take this stick and show it to your dog then try to throw it and wait for it to come back with it repeat that several times until two training indications light up above the dog the better trained the dog is the more useful it will be on the farm so how to play with your dog trust me i'm very good at no i know how to play with my dog playing fetch increases your dog's training level take the stick in your hand and wait for the dog to come to you Hold F to release to throw the dog, uh, not to throw the dog, that's not how we play with the dog, to throw the stick above the dog's head you will see an icon with the training level. At the second level, the dog will learn to track. On the third, it will help and herd animals. Oh, very good. Okay. Hey, um, let's actually try that out, right? Wait, it says it needs a stick though. Play with your dog until he re she reaches the second level of training. It does say a stick. Is this considered a stick? This is considered a place it. This is a this is a log. Hang on a sec. Let's see. It's best to use the good old game of fetch. Take a stick and play with your dog. So we gotta find a stick. Now, hang on a sec. Has there been a inventory? There we go. There is the inventory. Got it. Okay, so that's how you switch your um, hotbar around. So it's I. Anybody wondering? It's I. There we go. All right, all right, all right. We got it. Okay, you, come here. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. You, 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 you went past the stick. Yes. 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 Oh, good dog. That's a great dog. <laughs> Oh my god. The level of the dog has risen. Oh my lord. Would you like to go again? Go again. Oh, I threw that extra far now. Oh my lord. Ow. This is so cool. So cool. Go again? What's going on in my head here is like, okay, this seems like a very simple task, very, you know, whatever it is, right? I think what it what it's doing to me here in my head is it's it's telling me how much how deep this game will actually be going forward, you know what I mean? So that was awesome. All right, let's go to grandpa again. And maybe we could talk to grandpa about this weird stone. Now, that does look like a Garfield, so we even probably have an, an option to take care of the cat. I guess we naturally just have a cat for like the barn mice and things like that, right? Hello, Grandpa. I'd like to talk to you about a strange stone. Grandpa, there is a strange stone in the valley with an X painted on it. Another one? Once during one of my hikes in the valley, I came across such a boulder. There appears to be more of them. If you haven't already done so, try digging it out with a spade. Under mine. Someone buried some useful stuff. Under mine? You were right, the dog doesn't run from me anymore now. Perfect. A well-played dog is a happy and obedient dog. Dogs are known for the year their excellent sense of smell. I once had a dog that could smell apple pie from a neighborhood, uh, neighboring county. On the farm, however, a dog's nose is useful uh, for more than just locating treats. With its help, you can also find lost pets or objects. Some time ago, Grandma's beloved cow, Willow, went missing from the farm. This bell is the only thing left on... Uh, left her on the farm the this bell is the only thing left of her on the farm okay take him out by the dog to catch the trail and find poor willow together okay so we have to take the dog out now that it's level three and we want to go find willow the cow put the object in front of the dog to track oh this is such a cool thing this is like next level stuff yo so we have the cowbell we use the cowbell as a you know smell it go find willow Hunt, yes. All right, so now all we have to do is follow Bella. And Bella will take us to where this cow is at. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, look at, oh my God, look at him. <laughs> yeah, 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 I see him. Come on, come with me. I, I, oh, this is straight up story of seasons. <laughs> look at that cow. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the, the caboose on that thing, dude. That's a wide cow. <laughs> Bring Willow to the farm. Okay, so let's herd it the other way, right? Now, I don't know. Maybe the once we train up our dog even more, uh, the dog can actually chase it back home then, right? Yeah. Heart just melted. melted. Bella's so cute. Facts. Just want to spend the whole time playing with the dogs? Also facts. 
The next 45 minutes of the demo will be solely cans playing fetch? Possibly. <laughs> I kind of love this game mechanic. It's pretty neat, right? The whole fetching, the hunting, finding Willow. This is a big cow. Hey, Christy. This is neat. This is very neat, right? <laughs> All right, so now that that's done, we can at least talk to Grandpa again. There's so much I want to do. Like, there's so much I want to do around the world. Like, I want to obviously, like, repair everything, harvest everything, gather everything, eggplants, tomatoes. I mean, look at the crops. Even the crops itself look really fun. And I say fun and maybe in the manner of, like, I don't know, like, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of interesting though we are a child so there must be some and we probably won't see it in today but maybe when the game is fully released and we finally get our hands on the game you know usually in these types of games what happens grandpa dies we are left with the farm right but this is like pre right this is like we are a kid we are talking to grandpa we are interacting with grandpa we are learning from grandpa and we're not reading like letters that grandpa left around after he died kind of thing you know Willow was already at the farm. Bravo, I expected nothing less from you. Now we need to fix her enclosure so she doesn't go on such long walks again. Okay, so that, yeah, we could definitely do that. Let's do it. So build a cow enclosure for Willow. Remember to put a cow sign inside. So we have to actually put a cow sign inside. That looks like me trying to get my wife in the house after the ice cream truck goes by. <laughs> Get inside. Come on. Give me the bell. Get the bell. Start ringing it. Start ringing it. All right. We got to get more wood here. Looks like there's a couple enclosures here. So let's chop down some more trees, shall we? Yeah, the graphics are pretty cool, right? They are nice. And so far, at least that I'm playing like on keyboard and mouse here, uh, the controls seem pretty good. Like, seem really like I hate I hate the hate to use the word easy because we all use, uh, you know, we all use things and do different things differently and accessibility wise or whatever it might be but it's very fluid i guess the controls are it, it's it's nothing too too difficult to, to get behind normally i guess you could say i don't know right uh, i i would i would totally expect this game to have uh controller support yeah i definitely expect this game to have controller support so if you need controller support and things like that you're not really good with the keyboard and mouse or can't do keyboard and mouse I definitely would bet on it that this will have controller support. I don't see why it wouldn't, honestly. Especially if they're trying to make a uh, a case for it and they're saying, you know what, we want to bring this to the Switch in as well. So, yeah. Looks like chunky cows from the Coral Island. That's also true. <laughs> oh! That's not what I wanted to do. Not exactly. I had the hammer, or I had the axe in my hand, not the hammer. <laughs> Whoopsie. Now, I guess it teaches us if how we can build um, these other, like, okay, so hang on a sec. Let's see here. Is there a way to actually build? Now, I might go back and look at the inventory real quick, just to kind of see the logs. Is this where you would, yeah, tutorial logs. How does a mini map, mini map work? Mini map work. Change clothes, zones. Uh, how to build a homestead. So build an enclosure pen, a pen with fences and gates. Inside the enclosure, place a plaque with the name of the animal. You can combine different types of fences with each other. So now it shows them having a fence in their inventory. Now I wonder how you would actually get that fence inside. I guess you build it on a crafting table? Or you... Pick it up from here. Or oh wait, can you actually take this? Oh, you can actually pick that up. Nice. There we go. There we go. Get some of that too as well. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. So that's my guess. My guess is. Oh wait, is this a chest? Oh, storage. Oh, very good. Very good. What is this? A hose? Pick up a hose. You have twenty garden hoses. Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. There's just so much stuff to like interact with. What the heck is this? Hold the fix? Oh, this must be a crafting? Is this a craft? Oh, this is a crafting bench. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm gonna need like two of these, I think. And then that should be good. And then the next thing I kind of need is a sign, right? I need a sign of some sort. So then now that I've... Oh, God. What a strange bug. Oh, okay. Now that I have a couple of fences, how and where do I get the other... Like, the actual sign itself? I'm at to see. I'm wondering how long it took the devs to make the leaves fall in like that. I wonder how long this game has been in development for, really. I guess I need, like, one more? One more? Because we have a fence gate right here, right? Yeah, fence gate right there. Oh my god, the dog is so adorable. Every time I see Bella run past, I'm gonna just be like, oh lord. Look at it go. Look at it go. Now how... Let's see, let's go there. Okay, one fence. Okay. And then let's finish that off and then maybe it gives us a sign who knows <clears throat> let's see the dog's gonna get stuck in here they're gonna get stuck in here come on out get out all right so now that we have the enclosure now all we need to do is actually put the sign down remember to put the cow sign inside now it does say that there's recipes so i wonder hey look there's a spade that's the spade that we need for the shovel right or the the rock um, I wonder if there's like hidden recipes kind of like lying about and stuff like that in this game. There's an axe right there, another one. Um, let me actually, I'm gonna go dig up this rock. Let's go see, right? I looked around and asked on Twitter for the release date. However, can't find anything. Yeah, I, I don't think there is a release date yet. I don't think they've made it uh, public yet. They haven't taken that shot yet. Now, this is not where the rock was, was it? It was, no, not towards the windmill. Was it? No. No, it wasn't toward the windmill. Maybe it was off into the other direction? Hey, Bradley, how you doing? I just got home from school just in time for the stream. Oh, very good. Good to see you, Bradley. Hope you're doing well. If I type Google Everdream Valley, I see it says 25th of August 2021. Yeah, that might not be right. <laughs> that might not be right how to get more stamina the bar running around the minimap is your stamina level if it turns red you must wait to run until it renews you can raise your maximum stamina level by eating fruit or food okay very very uh, kind of like a well i hate to say like a valheim type thing but yeah kind of like a valheim type thing i guess you can also lower it if you get stung by bees and harm i guess get harmed and stuff like that so let's wait for our stamina to bring back here i kind of forgot exactly where that stone was and I wonder, like, I mean, you look at the map now, right? You look at the map now and you look around and possibly this could be your farm. Now, just ex like, just, just think of this game, right? And how it looks right now. And just think of it if and when there are, like, towns and things like that. Uh, neighborhoods, this, that, whatever it might be, right? I guess thinking about the potential is, is one thing that's really, really kind of, like... Making the juices flow and all that, right? Yeah. I have not said hi to Grandma yet. Let's let's go say hi to Grandma. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go say hi to Grandma. And maybe even talk to Grandpa. Maybe he can teach us how to do the recipes, too. Do they have a Discord? I don't know if they have a Discord. I haven't checked on that. That's a good question, though. Grandpa, there are beetles in the valley. Beetles, butterfly, dragonflies, and other insects. You just have to look around and under your feet. You can also try to catch them in your hand or with a net. I'll tell you in secret that from beetles, you can make treats for animals. Sheep, goats, chickens, and even horses will love you if you throw them some insect balls. Somewhere in the barn, there should be an old machine with help of which you will need to prepare for treats. Okay. So insect treats, I guess. Let's talk to Grandma. Look at Grandma. <laughs> Grandma with the big glasses. I'm liking it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, hens or the old orchard? Let's talk about the hens, right? Is the sign in my inventory? I'll check to see if the sign is my inventory. Uh, the chickens have a home again, Grandma. That's great, love. Now you can put perches by the coop and collect eggs every single day. All you need is some hay, boards, and a visit to the workshop. You will prepare the boards from the wood of the sawhorse behind the barn. Okay. 
So prepare three perches. Very well. Let's see. Do I have the sign on me? I do have the sign on me. All right. Good idea. Good idea. Good shout. Look at you coming in with the, I know. Is that the same cow or is that the different cow? I guess it might be the same cow. Good shout on the sign though. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and place this. I guess I could have placed it anywhere, right? Maybe. Um, yeah, so this is good. So bring now Willow into the pen. So let's go get Willow. And bring Willow into the pen. No, 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 no. Don't cop an attitude, Miss Willow, Mrs. Willow. Time to get into the pen. Wait, hold? No freaking way. Oh, no, hold two pet. Sorry. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like pick up the pick up the cow. All right, all right. Into the pin, into the pin, into the pin, into the pin. Into the pin. Yeah! Why pet animals? Repair Willow's homestead. Walk up to call. Oh, look at that. What is that? Is that like a ram or something? What is that? A sheep. That's a sheep. Walk up to calm animal and pet it. The stroked animal will follow you for 20 seconds. This way you guide uh, the animal from enclosure to enclosure. Hmm. Interesting. You can barely hear me. Um, is there something wrong with the audio? Is there something wrong with that? Let me know. Let me know if you can barely hear me. Is Am I good or am I not good? Love the colors and the animals. I know, right? The colors are looking fantastic. On my end, it seems good. Audio is fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, prepare three perches using the workshop. So the workshop, which should be this. Yeah, the saw, right? Oh my gosh. Right? Oh my lord. What am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm supposed to like follow the green. Yeah. A board. Okay. So that gives us boards. Okay. I see now. All right. All right. I see. I see. I see. Okay. That gives us boards. And then maybe what we do is we are. Yeah. Okay. We craft maybe. Yeah. Craft. Yes. Insect net. Chicken perch. Okay. So insect net, we, we don't really need to do right now. Hay, we need to get. We need to get hay. So maybe an insect net just to have, I guess. Why not? Okay. Let's do this and go like this. Go like that to that to that. And then find and gather hay for the perch. Let's talk to grandma one more time too. Uh, about Willow. Willow is whole and healthy. Thank you, sweetie. As soon as I heard that happy mooing, I knew my friend was coming home. I'm not the only one who is grateful. Willow also wants to thank you in her own way for giving her peace of mind. Animals feel safe in their pens. And when they are not afraid of predators, they can take care of milk production, uh, for an example. Take the jug and milk Willow. When you come back to me with milk, I'll teach you how to make a delicious stew with it. Oh my gosh. Okay, milk jug? Pretty, pretty self explain Oh my god, they're actually going to have us, like squeeze the udders <laughs> okay uh right uh i'll be real with you this will probably be the first time in any farming game i've ever done this but here we go interesting enough hey millie how you doing millie what's going on millie all right let's go milk Okay, all milk. Okay, aim the milk. Wait, aim milk to fill the bucket. Use A and D to shoot the milk. Oh my lord. Okay. This is a little strange. I will I'll I'll be real with you. It's a little strange. Don't get me wrong. Hopefully, in the future, there's a way to skip that. Because if you have to milk your cows all the time, I'm there might be, you know, after a long period of time, you probably don't want to like do that all the time and maybe just skip that whole mini game thing there that's an interesting take unless you really want to milk your <laughs> your own cows hello milk i have milk grandma bravo you can make any delicious dishes with your milk for an example a delicious vegetable stew the food you can cook can be sold or eaten raising your stamina for a while but before we get to cooking i would like you to get some ingredients for me and fix the kitchen fix the kitchen oh my gosh Collect three different vegetables, which we can do. Fix the kitchen, which we can do. I want to see if I can try to find hay so we can get the perch. Now, do we... The chickens have names. Hold the pet. I wonder how you would actually... Um, I wonder if there's like a... Um, 
what is it like a like an over not uh, an overhead of all your you can actually take photos in this game animals frogs plants and others if there's like a like all my chickens or all my cows you know you can see like all the names of your your animals type thing now actually curiosity might kill the cat here how far this is the map fully zoomed out this is where our farmstead is i wonder if there's anything going on all the way over here oh my lord interesting utterly wonderful <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay so um oh dude the chicken's following me i don't really want you to follow me chicken i just wanted to pet you i want you to stay here i'm just looking for hay there we go hey there we go perfect now i'm gonna make your guys's perches don't no, don't follow me chicken come back how did you even go through that did you go through the door ah oh, dang it hang on let me let me put him back where he needs to go Come here, come here, come here, come here. It would be ch chicken chasing all the way through this entire thing, right? There you go. Okay, y'all stay here for a sec. All right, let's craft this thing. <clears throat> when you was when you was playing the game last night, she went to grandma before she fixed the coop. That's how I learned the names. Okay, okay, very well. Uh, let's go. Okay, so this. Is technically hay bales, but maybe not hay hay that we're looking at here. Right? Let's see what this is actually called. Hay cubes. It works well in ration for your animals and when building forts. It can be prepared from hay in the workshop. So there must be... Oh, this must be it right here. This is the hay. Yeah, never mind. I see. I see. Animal treat station. Okay, I feel you. Got it. Oh, I like this. All right, now let's do it. Okay, uh, three of those, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Got it. Okie dokie. Um, we prepare place near the chicken coop. Okay, so now we just need to place them down. I thought that was Stitch for a sec, but apparently that's a mouse. Switch that out. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, look at this. You can freely put it wherever you want. Highly customizable, it seems like, in this game when maybe building out your farm and things like that. So how and why to sleep at any time you can go to bed to rest or speed up the time of pass or passage of the time. To do this, go to the farmhouse and do all that. You can also sleep in a tent. Remember that when you sleep, uh, time continues to pass. For example, uh, animals get hungry. One thing kind of concerns me right here in this little video here is the person goes up to the house and enters, goes to sleep, comes out. Now, is that only because we're in like this kind of like prologue era? Because I really hope that there is going to be a, a, a place where you have a house and you can customize the house, right? Not just use it as a sleep thing. So I really hope that's, you know, just because we're in the prologue here kind of thing. Place. Oh, yeah. I love this. I love the free placement here. This is really nice. Definitely will make everybody's farms unique to themselves, you know? What a nice feather. I wonder who it belongs to. Probably one of these chickens. That's my guess. <laughs> Probably one of the chickens that you see sleeping here. Okay, rooster feathers and things like that. Uh, collect three eggs. So we're going to have to probably wait until the morning to collect the three eggs there. Okie dokie. All right. So let's turn in, I guess, for the night. Yeah. Turn in for the night. Oh, dear. I see that you already getting ready for bed. Please put it on before you go to bed. Please put it on before you go to bed. You will be definitely more comfortable. And you won't be you won't bring unwanted company to bed. The last thing you need is crunching cockroaches under your pillow. What did they just what? <laughs> huh? Okay, right. Put what on what and do what to who? Correct. Um, okay. So that's that. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we have now chicken eggs. Uh, excuse me. Y'all look like you need food. Y'all just jumped into the little perches. That was so cute. Now, if I pick you up and release you, are you are you squatting? Are you delivering us eggs here? 
<laughs> it's so cute how they just run and jump into it. Oh my god. Look at that. Oop. <laughs> Maybe they're doing their business. I'll let them do their business. How funny is that? All right, let's go talk to, uh, I guess, look into building out the kitchen, correct? I guess so. So how to use a spade. With the spade, you can replant plants, dig things out from under the X mark. To do this, just take the spade in your hand and click F action near the plant or stone. Very well. Not yet, though. Because we're going to be chopping down some bushes and repairing some things. So I guess this is the kitchen, right? Seems a lot in depth for a demo. I agree. And hey, if you also, if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I have, I've, you know, maybe never heard or never played this game and want to give it a shot myself, you can definitely go to Steam right now and download the demo and play for free. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's see here. Fold the fix. There's the kitchen. Collect three different vegetables. Okay. And all that. Cool. I like it. I like it so far. I like it. I like it. I like it. Is the mouse for the cat? <laughs> the mouse should be for the cat. Okay, gather the crop. We have eggplants. I'm assuming peppers. Yeah, red bell peppers and carrots. Which, for some reason, my character in the beginning said they were afraid that they were going to get bit by a carrot. Congratulations, this is your first insect. A Colorado worm. Is that a real worm in real life? I guess in Colorado, maybe? Interesting. There we go. Okay. All right, so we got the three different uh, vegetables. Let's go make this stew. Prepare the vegetable stew, and hopefully the chickens will lay their eggs by then. All right. Craft? Wow. What? No way. There's a mini game for cooking? You can cook using ready-made recipes or by experimenting. Oh, that's wonderful. You can get new recipes for completing tasks or discover them by experimenting with different ingredients. Eating any dish other than slush raises your stamina a bit. To cook, hold down the arrows and all that good stuff. I love the fact that you can find recipes and that you can experiment with things yourself. That's really cool. So, I mean, obviously carrot, egg, milk, and red bell peppers. Right? Oh, God. It's a little loud, I will I will admit. Oh, God, I did that wrong already. Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. I see. Super. Perfect. Slush. What? Cook this. Maybe because I put milk in it. Maybe that's why it was a slush. It was not a vegetable stew, I guess, right? There you go. This is really cool, actually. Slush. Let's go recipes. Oh, you need a bottle of water. Okay, I see. You need a bottle of water. So we got to go figure out how to get a bottle of water. Now, I actually think that we have a bottle, right? Yeah, we do have a bottle. Let's get that out of there. And now we just need to go get some water. Maybe there's like a well or, uh, dare I say, a creek somewhere. I mean, really, there should be a well somewhere, right? Obviously. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat, indeed. I mean, here's a well, right? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a thing. Oh, I, I love that the tools are just kind of lying about, you know? They're just lying about. You just go and find them? That's really neat. Now I should be able to get water from this. Fill up. Multiple waters. Let's get all of it, and then I think I'm going to get more vegetables, too. Pick more vegetables. At least I think I think I need, like, a tomato or something. Yeah, I think I might need, like, a tomato. My honey bunches just got home, so I'm going to bounce. Hope y'all have a great evening. Have a good evening there, Jessica. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do take care. Okay, I think there was more uh, vegetables off this way. Uh, big note, don't make slush. Slush, bad. Bad slush. Oh, there we go. There's something over there, right? Can't tell if that's tomatoes or bell peppers. Did I get tomatoes before? I can't remember if I did get tomatoes. Seems to be trash. This is tomatoes. Yeah, this is definitely tomatoes. There we go. All right, now let's go make the vegetable stew. 
water. I mean, if you put milk and made a bunch of vegetables and things like that, what would that be? That'd be like a curry, right? I don't know. Possibly. Let's see here. Let's cook this vegetable stew. All right. Recipe vegetable stew. Put all of it in. We put the water as the liquid. The carrot, the egg, and the tomatoes. Okay. Now let's make it, shall we? Super. Super duper. There we go. The music's nice as well. Cool. Vegetable stew has now been done and completed. Preparations for cooking. Look at that. You can make a milkshake. Well, with a milk jug, of course. Nice. Okay, cool. So now the only thing we need to really do is uh, go ahead and collect. Oh, what is this? Is that a fishing pole? It's a cat toy. What? A cat toy? Now I gotta find the cat. Definitely gotta find the cat now. Uh, ladies, did you, uh... Did you do the egg business? Uh, you are still working on it? All right. Yeah, let, let you let you do your let you do your business. I'll give you your time. Okay, hello, Grandpa. Milk more animals or feather? Let's talk about milk. Cow milked, Grandpa. Bravo, you are looking more and more like a real farmer. Remember, however, that a good farmer does not only take. You need to think about needs of the animals in your care. First of all, make sure they are all or are all always full hungry animals will not only not produce anything if they are left without food for a long time they may even get sick you can feed them in several ways one is simply to let the animals out to pasture where they can find food on their own which you would think the chickens would be able to but maybe this is something totally different however they will have to be chased back to the homestead and watch to see uh, see if they eat the vegetables in the garden so if you let so for an example if you let your sheep your cows out to go pasture there's a chance that they can go and destroy your vegetables if they are not in a gated area, I guess, then. That's pretty cool. You can also uh, reseed the grass in the enclosure once they have eaten it. Here, are, these are seeds. Look around for similar bags in the valley and at a merchant. Another way is to throw vegetables, fruits, or hay cubes into the pen, the latter being the most effective. Huh. Take this scheme, thanks to you. Uh, take this scheme, thanks to it, you will prepare food cubes in the workshop prepare a hay cube which we actually have hay cubes on us but yeah they want us to do that let's do it so craft a hay cube there we go cool and then we can give that to our uh to our cow then right over here yeah and willow's homestead that's really neat i mean to be fair though i feel like this little homestead is very very like small but yuck it smells awful but maybe it can be used somehow uh, fertilizer my good man yeah fertilizer cool Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, grab this cube, put that cowbell away, and then place it down right there. Oh, that's so cool. All right, now let's also pet the cow. Hello, cow. Do you have a name? Who knows? There you are. Cool. So now I want to see you eat. Maybe they're just so excited to be around me. But we have done did that, so that's good. As far as the chickens go. We just gotta hope that they uh, lay soon. Amber says, I'm home for a three day weekend. Hey, that's awesome. Three day weekend for you. They're on strike until you feed them. That's probably a good, good, good point. Uh, cooking. I have a vegetable stew, Grandma. Bravo. You're probably wondering where to get more recipes, right? You will learn some of them by experimenting in the kitchen. You can add different ingredients together and see what comes out. You can also try these two recipes. To prepare them, we will need a larger garden and more crops. Take that hoe and seeds and expand our garden or prepare an additional one elsewhere. Remember that you will only dig vegetable beds where there is grass. Nothing is likely to grow on sand or rock. Very well. Dig at least six new beds. So she gave us the hoe, right? Or do we have to go get the hoe? No, there's the hoe right there. Okay. So we'll grab the hoe. <clears throat> Do that. What is this? Strawberries, pumpkins. Okay. Strawberries and pumpkins. Let's grab this. Ah, look at that. Okay, dig. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll go six. Actually, we'll do it over here. Six. 
So there we go. Plant three different plants in the beds. So I'm assuming we just kind of just throw it in there, right? So if I wanted uh, strawberries, pumpkins, and maybe another eggplant, right? I should be able to just throw it in there, right? Is that how that works? Plant. Aha. Yes, that is. Oh, you can put multiple crops in one little plot there. Oh, very good. Put a pumpkin right there. And then an eggplant and maybe like another eggplant right there. Nice. Prepare three different dishes other than vegetable stew. Now, I know one of the other dishes milkshake, so we can at least maybe get some milk from our cow. There, wait, wait. There's Garfield. Time out. Time out, time out, time out. Where is it? Cat toy. Come here. Come here. Raise the toy. Raise the toy. Come over here. You have to assume. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You're doing good. Let's go. This is where you go. We, we put you we put you through the ring, right? Oh! <laughs> it's just... I don't know why. I don't know why this is so funny. This is hard to do. But... It's pretty cool, though. No, no, no. This way. Come on. Good job. I, I, I don't think a cat would do this in real life, would they? <laughs> no, no, come back this way. Okay, the fact that this is up against the fence is, like, hard. Hooray! We did it! So now the cat has now been trained, I guess. A level trained in for the cat. Now, I wonder what happens if you were to fully train your cat. Right? What kind of benefits you get out of it. So that's pretty cool. My lord. <coughs> <clears throat> the cow is Millie? I think the cow is Willow, right? <coughs> Willow. Sorry, Willow. That's the cow's name is Willow. Grandma, there are silver fruit trees behind the house. Why don't we have more of them? It's an old orchard, baby. It used to be much bigger, and there was so much fruit in it that we used to bring it into town to sell. Unfortunately, most of the trees have died from an old age and lack of water. If you want, you can try to restore the orchard to its former glory. I would start by cutting down old trees. Somewhere in the valley, you are sure to find wild young fruit trees. You can dig them up with a shovel and plant them in an orchard. So cut down the dead trees, which are back here, right? I would assume this is a, a dead tree, no? Yeah, back here? Orchard? Behind the farm? I would have to assume that's one of them. Yeah. That was not one of them. <clears throat> old orchard, old orchard. She said behind the farm, right? Pretty sure she said it. Or behind the farm, like maybe homestead? Maybe it's the homestead? <clears throat> Does the graduation cap think it's smarter than you? <laughs> now this is definitely, obviously, a, a fruit tree, right? Right here, maybe, right? This tree right here? This has to be a... I mean, this this looks dead to me, no? That's one of them. Okay, good. So now we know. And then, like, shrubs. Yeah, okay. I see now. Got it. Cool. Hey, Fit Rat, how you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Hey, Anna Mama, how you doing? Hey, Sassy, what's going on? Love this game. Put it on my wish list. Oh, very good. Very good. I think this is definitely a game worth putting on the wish list for sure. For sure, for sure. There we go. Cut down the bushes and the trees. A lot of, like, cool things you can, like, clean up throughout this entire, um, entire homestead here. Now, there is an option to plant, right? So, plant new fruit trees in the orchard. Now, I don't know. Do I have any apples? I don't think I do, right? So if I go ahead and grab some apples. No, no. 
Not exactly what I wanted to do there. <laughs> uh, plant this though. I love the fact that it, again, it's a free uh, free build. Maybe I, I guess I guess that's fine, right? They want us to like unplant them and replant them anyway, right? Oh, the, f the animation on that is really good. Let's do that. We'll do that. I do love the fact that you can actually free place these anywhere you want. That's really cool. What the heck is this? Looks like a rake. Pick up a... S okay, no, none of that. Is this early access? No, this is just a demo. This is just a demo, and this is a demo that you can play yourself, too. Yeah, absolutely. And, um... This game will not release on early access, I don't think. I've read that uh, they will not, or they are not going to release this on early access. It's probably the reason why it's coming out on Switch so fast, too, as well. So, um... When this game does release, they want it to be full release, and they also want it to be on Switch, like, right away. So, all good things, right? Prepare three different dishes with the vegetable stew, or other than the vegetable stew. Let's talk to Grandpa here. Talk about the hay. Where do you get the hay from, Grandpa? You can use them, uh, use the one on the farm. If you want more, then you need to harvest and dry it. Cut the grass first. You can do this with a wooden sword. It's quite a bit of fun, actually. Spread the cut grass on a special rack and return after 24 hours. Here, this is the diagram of the dryer. Oh, sick. Anything here, just kind of get rid of these like bushes that are hanging around this, right? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now you have to wait for them to regrow. Yeah, basically, now you have to wait for them to regrow. Uh, craft, there we go. And then this, again, another thing that you can just place anywhere you want on your farm. Oh my god. Probably my favorite part about all this is the fact that you can just have paint seeds what the heck does that mean paint seeds i think that's i think that's a typo i think that's supposed to say plant seeds and it says paint seeds or not or you can paint the grass what that's kind of cool okay <laughs> you're blowing my mind <laughs> you're blowing my mind with all this stuff dandelions so you can paint dandelions if you wanted to huh. or you know i guess right my lord never have i seen that in a farming game before really painting the grass fill this up we'll dry this out five hours to dry or up to i guess it says five hours so maybe if you were to fill the entire thing of grass it would take 24 hours to dry but since this is just 32, maybe just five hours. Hours left to dry. Yeah, five. Uh, chickens, I know we haven't fed you or done any of that nonsense. Right? There's the cat. Let's talk to Grandpa about it. Yep. Feather. Grandpa, do you know what uh, happened to this? What this feather is? Let me take a look at it. Yes, it looks like it belonged to a rooster. We used to have one of them on the farm. They are very useful birds. You can try to find it and bring it back to the farm. How do you get it go about? Uh, your best bet is to enlist the help of a dog. Let them smell the feather. It should be picked up. It should pick up the trail and lead you to the bird. Oh my god, we want a rooster. A rooster now. Uh, dog. B uh, Bella. 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 Excuse me, Bella. Bella. Yeah, I need your help. Let me pet you real quick. And so is Bella, dude. And then let's go ahead and pull out the rooster and let's hunt for the rooster find me the rooster we need a rooster with a bunch of hens or chickens hens and chickens they're the same they're the same i don't know Hen, chicken rooster Thank you, Scorpio. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, Green Tea. How you doing, Green Tea? The Bella was just floating. The Bella doesn't know where she's going. We're looking for a rooster. There you go. God, this world must be massive. Keep going. Looking for a rooster. Looking for a rooster. I think we found the rooster. Oh my god, it's in the tree. <laughs> How
How did you get up there? Maybe the cat will convince him to come down? Oh, crap. Um, use the cat to pull the rooster down from the tree? Shoot. Now we gotta go get the cat. Hey, Autumn, how you doing? I'm eating, though, so I'll be lurking and smirking. Oh, there's the cat. Hello, cat. Uh, yeah. yeah excuse me, kitty cat. I need you. No, no, no. I need you. Come this way with me. There you go. Uh, I need you. Yeah! There we go. All right, all right. Congratulations. This is your first ladybug. This is your first jelinek. Okay. Oh, my God. I want the rooster and the chicken as plushies now. Look at that. Look at that. Heck yeah, dude. We got the rooster. Bring the rooster back to the farm. Ooh, all right. Very good. Then how do you get the cat out of the tree? <laughs> you call the fire department, of course. I know it's cat. It's the cat's dinner coming up, right? No kidding. All right, rooster. This is your new home. You're coming to a fantastic home with three hens. Enjoy. Hooray! Now, do we have to buy him a perch? Probably not. <laughs> Oh, there's a sheep right there, too. Hello, Grandpa. Fertilizer. Something smells awful here. I think it's me, Grandpa. Oh, on the farm, you have to look carefully underfoot. Well, yes, but this time I picked it up specifically. Uh, maybe it could be used as fertilizer? Hmm. It's been a long time since we had big animals on the farm, so there were no big poops either. Uh, but we actually used to make fertilizer out of them. You manage to prepare it, then uh, you can use it to accelerate plant growth. A compost pile will be need to be built first, then leave it in what the animals leave behind. After some time, uh, compost will form. Here, this is the diagram of a composter. Cool. I kind of want to do the recipes as well. I need to milk my cow, though, I think. So maybe we go milk the cow real quick, because I know we're going to need milk for one of the recipes. Hey, Molly Joe. Molly Joe says, finally finished my last work meeting and can finally hear the stream. I was working and lurking. Not smirking, possibly. <laughs> With Can's forehead muted so the ex executives didn't hear him out loud. <laughs> they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want this. Now, I wonder if the cow is able to milk yet. Maybe not. Maybe we're not ready to... What the heck? The Harlequin? The tortoise? Maybe we're not ready to milk yet? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No milk, no milk. I get it. Let's talk to Grandma one more time. There are already new trees in the orchard, Grandma. I've seen it. It looks like it just... It's looked like it's... Like it used to now. It's beautiful. I'm glad there were no problems finding the trees and shrubs. If you take a look around in the valley, you are to sure to find uh, much... Uh, find more such places with other trees. Okay. So I guess you can go out in the valley, find a new fruit tree and maybe bring it back home kind of thing that'd be kind of cool <laughs> where can i find more animals grandpa appetite grows as you eat right kid there are several ways to bring animals to the farm one of them is the preparation of homesteads and chase or lure lost or wild animals into them i know that there are at least five a few sheep wandering around the farm the fastest way to chase them is by using the help of a dog Train it to level three and build a sheep pen. Once you've done that, come back to me. I'll teach you how to use your dog to herd sheep. Oh, sick, dude. Okay, so let's build a sheep pen. This feels like a sheep pen, right? Has to. This is big enough for a sheep pen, right? Have a sheep pen here and have it next to the chickens, right? I mean, sure, dude. That's one lucky rooster. <laughs> I need more wood. <laughs> How are you enjoying the game so far? It looks cute. Oh, no, this game is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking this game a lot. I'm liking it a lot, a lot. I think I'm liking... It's kind of two for two today. Like, in to earlier stream today with the barista simulator, I had way more fun than I was expecting out of that game. And this game, I'm having way more fun than I'm expecting as well, or I, that I expected as well. So I think this game is definitely another win, so to speak. And I will be adding this uh, 
to my list of games I want to get in the future for sure. I'm gonna fix this up. <clears throat> there we are. Fix this up over here. I think having a lot of sheep in this big pin shall do. There we go. Hello, cat. And then I'm gonna have to trade Bella, I think, again, right? I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> this game looks neat. Uh, looks like a neat game when it gets finished. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. There we go. Okay, so this is good, right? Now, a sign for the sheep. Let's see if I can actually, like, can't really rotate it. So I assume it's gonna be in the correct place if I place it down there. It is. Okay, good. Sheep on a farm. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we have the sheep in. Well, sheep plaque. I guess the next thing that we need to do, I guess, would be trying to get the sheep in. Let's talk to Grandpa maybe about that. We're going to have to probably, like, do something with Bella here in a sec. Uh, Grandpa, you freaking ran so far away. Oh, this is where the stone is, right? I'm pretty sure this is where the stone is. Right over there? Maybe not. I thought it was over here before. I think I'm backwards. No, there it is. That's it right there, right? Yeah, that's it. There we go. Cool. So let's actually get this. Dig out. You got one axe out of it. So we have two axes now. Okay. <laughs> Very well. Hello. I see we can already talk about serious sheep herding. Take this whistle. With its help, you can control your dog. Get to work. Oh. Okay. Bring six sheep back. Okay. What the frick? Oh, I see. Aha! Okay. Wait, is there a cow or a sheep right next to me? Oh, this is going to be something. All right, so here we go. We got a lot of sheep over here. We're going to come in from the back. Here we go. Come on, Bella. Time to herd some freaking sheep. There we go. This is good. Oh, this is such a cool thing, is it not? This is a nice little mechanic, yeah? We have to go to the right of the fence. This is a very complex uh, mechanic here in a, in a farming, I guess, Sim. And I'm very, very impressed with how they're doing it here. This is really neat. Takes a little bit of focus, obviously. Okay. There we go. It's not too hard, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more, one more. Okay, that's five, right? Okay, let me close that. So that's five? Yeah, five. Cool. Get the last one. Dun, 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 dun. I guess the rooster is Joey. How you doing? Exactly. Hey, Joey had a rooster as well, right? No, they had a chicken. Did they have a rooster? No, they had a rooster, right? Rooster or a chicken? One of the two. I can't remember. Honestly. There we go. There we are. Let's go this way. And through this way. Okay, now we'll have to, like, open up the thing real quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Hey, no, 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 no. Get in there, get in there. Good job. Four sheep. So, we got all six sheep in. I guess we could talk to Grandpa about that and tell him, hey, you know what? Not too bad to do. We done did it. Uh, maybe talk to Grandma about it instead. Grandma, we have sheep. I see that you managed to find the missing sheep. Aren't they, aren't they adorable? And on top of that, they have soft and warm wool. Sheep are my favorite animals. Right after the cows, of course. Goats are cute too, I guess. Actually, I like all living creatures with you in the leader. With you in the lead, dear. However, back to wool. If you want, I can teach you how to shear sheep. Yes, yes, please. So, how to get wool? Pretty simple, right? Go up to it. Use, play the mini game, right? Grab the shear. Put that on. There we go. Let's do it. The graphics are adorable and pretty. I agree. Will this be a channel-worthy playthrough? I, I I have a good high hopes for it. I have high hopes for it. I'm sure people are going to like it. And if you wanted to see it come to the channel when it does release, make sure to hit the like button. 
comment down below if you're watching this in the replay because that's the only way that i'm gonna be able to know whether or not y'all want to see this when it does come out right so here we go cut oh my god <laughs> what the heck oh my lord sheep cut in 16 seconds you got one wool so kind of similar to the whole cow thing i hope that there will be something in the future where you don't have to do this mini game every single time because that would be something it's kind of funny though right there we go there we go 12 seconds <laughs> do i have to do all six i wonder i guess maybe not maybe so it's kind of nice a chicken and a duck that's what joey and chandler had they had a chicken and a duck go where's a little piece at uh uh there we go okay <laughs> Hopefully they won't puke on you. With it coming to Nintendo, I hope it's on Steam Deck Verified. I, ha I I would have to assume as well. It probably will be a Steam Deck Verified game as well. Yeah. With it coming to Nintendo Switch, I 100% believe it would be easily a, a Steam Deck Verified game. At least it should be, right? Oh. So this is kind of like nice. There we go. One more. Give one a mohawk. <laughs> Too bad you can't you can't style them. <laughs> hey Debbie, how you doing? Debbie says, thank you for being awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being awesome, Debbie. This one has a little bit of a highlight. That one has a highlight too. They're all good. We got them all good. Yeah. They're all good to go. Grandma. Sheep has been done. What can I do with the wool, Grandma? Oh, first of all, lots of different clothes. You just have to know how. I usually use the pattern from old magazines. Here, this is one of them. With it, you'll make a warm sweatshirt out of the wool you collect. You received a recipe for a blouse? Wait, so do I craft that? Yeah. You do. Composter. We want to make that. We need wood for that. You need 10 wool if you want to make a blouse, which looks like a hoodie, to be real with you. Oh, that's so good. Nice. Cool. I like it. Let's go take a look at the other recipes real quick. Yeah. Oh, you played the demo on the Steam Deck? Okay, good. Okay, well, there's, there's a good answer right there. Let's see. Okay, so pumpkin soup, we just need pumpkin. Strawberries with cream, we just need strawberries and water. Bottle of cream, I guess we get bottle of cream from a milk jug. And then, uh, not vegetable stew, and then having a milk jug for milkshake. Okay. All right. So really what we should do... We're going to have to make the milkshake, pumpkin soup, and strawberries with cream, right? So we're going to need our our crops to kind of grow then. But I wonder, since we haven't really done it yet, about watering, right? Watering our crops and things like that. So maybe that's something we should kind of look into. What do we need to feed the chickens? Oh, God. I am not 100% sure. Really not sure. Let's see here. We have to do this. Maybe? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe? <laughs> do, do, do tools take durability? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't see anything um, regarding like durability or anything like that. So maybe what we could do is we can go to bed. 
uh, I know it's like early, but we want to go to the next day, see if we can pro progress it, see if we can get the milk from the, um, from the, uh, cow, first thing. Then we want to see where the crops are, as far as strawberries, pumpkins, and all that go, right? Maybe I shouldn't have planted the pumpkins and strawberries and all that. Maybe I should have kept them for the recipes in particular, right? Who knows? Am I standing? I am standing, yeah. I'm standing right now. <laughs> okay. So now with the next day, let's see. Uh, where do these crops stand and what do they do? Like... Are they an overnighter kind of thing? Okay, so now they're asking for water. Okay, I see, I see. Then we just give them water, right? There you go. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> and then let's go see if we can actually milk our cow. And possibly wool our sheep. Who knows? Let's see about our cow. There we go. So that has been done. Hopefully the cow actually ate the hay bale. Does seem the cow has eaten the hay bale. Nice. Pick that up. Hold the pet. Okay, maybe the cow does not want to be uh to be milked today. I don't know how frequent it is to, like, milk the cows. Usually in the farming games. It's, like, every day, right? So let's go ahead and place another hay bale down, I guess. So this whole cooking recipe thing, I don't think we're going to be able to do for the rest of the demo. But at least... There we go. No, 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 no. No. Place. At least we can do that, right? Hell yeah. Cool. Ah, we did not give you any food, now did we? Maybe give you that. There you are. Maybe a couple. Wouldn't be too bad, right? There you go. Maybe on each end. Easy watering. Yeah, very easy watering. There we go. Cool. As far as the chickens go, they did give us eggs. So there's our chicken eggs. And I'm assuming they will... Feed themselves as they go and... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're feeding themselves right now. Okay, nice. Cool. So the eggs have been taken care of. The chickens will take care of themselves. Grandma, we have the eggs. Look, Grandma, I have three eggs. Excellent work. Or excellent work, if you know what I mean. Uh, you can do at least a few different things with eggs. They can be used to make delicious scrambled eggs. They can be sold. And you can also use them to raise chickens. An incubator will be needed for this last task. Just put it on the ground or the table, put an egg in it, and wait two days. Oh. Throw a chicken in an incubator. Interesting. Composter I kind of want to build too. Now, the incubator, I guess that is just something we already have? Or, uh, no, 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 sorry. They probably gave us the incubator. Yeah, there's the incubator right there. Okay. Um, Let's do that. And I guess we could place this anywhere we want right so i don't know why not put the incubator next to the next to the house here we go and we can put a chicken in there or a chicken egg in there right put a chicken egg in there place sick so two days to hatch cool all right we won't be able to see the baby chicken unfortunately but that's pretty cool nonetheless pick that up is that another empty milk jug that is another empty milk jug cool Three days to milk a cow? Very well. Three days to milk a cow. Let's go ahead and clean this stuff up, right? Milk canisters? Hey, Bella, you're in the way. Do you want a pet? I'm sorry. No, I don't want you to hunt the chicken. No, don't hunt the chicken. Oh, my bad, Bella. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we forgot to do the animal treat as well. So, uh, takes just random bugs or maybe... A specific bug? I think that takes random. It just it doesn't matter what bug it is as long as it's a, it's a bug, right? Let's see. God. That's disgusting. Bill? Okay, one bug? Okay. Bill? Bill? Ugh. So that shall make one treat now. So you can have up to 100 bugs in there. Okay. Very well. 
We haven't actually used the bug net yet. Where's the bug net? Bug net. Oh, I don't think we actually made the bug net now, did we? Did we? Did we? There's the vegetable stew. Let's actually eat some of the vegetable stew. Can we do that? Consume? I think we ate it. Yeah, I guess we ate it. We have another bug there, too. There wasn't an animation for eating of the of the stew, so that's all right. But we did eat it, technically. Don't put the milk in your hand there, buddy. We did, I don't know, we did not. Uh, oh yeah, we. it's right there, it's in the hot bar, sorry. <laughs> hot bar, there we go, all right. Now, I, I kinda wanna know how this works a little bit, too. I don't know. I guess if you see a bug, swipe at it. But we've been kinda like running over bugs, so to speak, and getting bugs that way. I just picked up another shovel. Well, these need to be watered, too. Let's do that. Water, 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 water. Yep. Go. You know what I actually also see for the future of this game, too? Maybe. Possibly. Is, like, a modding feature, too. Right? Maybe that's just me. But I could see this game having mods. Why not? go and obviously if you were going through this and you were playing and you're like oh my god this place looks you know it's all run down and like for some reason grandma and grandpa didn't like keep up with it you know go through take care of things repair things repair fences build fences you know my lord these sheep are out of control these sheep are out of control i kind of want to explore the world Let's go. So, so this, since like one of the last things we need to do is grow the ink uh, chicken in the incubator, right? Let's see if we like go around and see how far the game will let us go in this map, this massive map we have here, right? Let's see. Maybe there's other things out there. Maybe there's other like fruit trees, animals, whatever it might be, right? Let's do that. We only have 10 minutes left of the demo. And it's such a, I had to say, it's such a good demo, though. It is. A couple of mushrooms. That is a lot of map. Yeah, it is a lot of map. Like, oh, look at this. Like, I'm assuming you can, like, repair this bridge. 25 wood to repair the bridge? Okay. Ah, so you can't cross it unless you, so you can't swim, obviously. So once you repair that bridge, you can go to like kind of like that next area-ish, so to speak. Here we go. It'd be cool if like uh, the demo was like four days, right? Like, okay, you have four days to do things like it is now, right? It, it shows four days and wasn't timed. Because then eventually your four days will be up, you know? But with your time, you don't really get the four day potential or maximum out of it, right? It should be enough to uh, to fix this, yeah? There we go. Cool. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> you teased me. You actually teased me. The demo wall. Frick. But. It leaves you wondering, what's over there? What What's over there? What could possibly be over there, right? Is there other people's houses? Will there be house customization in this game? I think in real, I think in reality, this game... I, oh, God. Okay, you went over there to the demo side. <laughs> ah, you too! Um, I think in reality, this game will have to have house customization i 100 percent believe it if it doesn't have house customization that might be a big letdown like to use like so far right now the house is only used to uh turn the days over right you have to have a game like this and be able to customize something right customize a house I, that's just me i don't know when it comes to these farming games there is something right there i'm gonna take a look at that here in a sec but it does look like there's an ocean yeah big ocean beautiful Mm -mm. 
Did you get to choose your character, customize them? Yeah, you get to choose. We got to choose our character. You can be male or female. And, um, well, you choose either male or female. And then you go ahead and customize, like, your looks. You customize a little bit of features that you have, at least demo-wise. There probably will be more. There's corn here. That's awesome. It's corn. Where's Automat? I know. Um, gather the crop. Raspberries. Red crab apples. That's kind of cool. Look at that. It's like picking up a stump, too. Other, at least a pitchfork. I wonder if I could... No, okay. <laughs> Gather crop? No. Oh. I guess we are kind of full, right? Now, let's test this out. If we were to have, you know, if we were like to say, let's get rid of this. Can we actually get rid of items instead? If we didn't want everything in our inventory? Is there a way to actually trash items? So let's see. There's equipped, sort, move, exit. Doesn't look like there is a way to drop items in case you wanted to drop items. However, there is a currency up here, you know, so that's kind of cool to see. It's a little shed in here, a little shed in here. Butterflies, and I wonder if I can actually catch these butterflies. You can, a lemon leaf. Cool. But, again, our storage is too high. But look at this. Look how... I don't know if it'll show up on the on the stream, but... Imagine going in, go, going in, going to a meadow, you know, somewhere where these awesome wildflowers are, and just seeing a school... I don't know what they call a group of butterflies, but a giant th group of butterflies where you can just go and play along and just grab them with nets and things like that. That is pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. Is there fishing in the game? I don't know if there's fishing fishing in the game. Um, at least what we've learned so far, not to our knowledge, but maybe there will be in the future, maybe in the actual release of the game there will be fishing. I'm not sure, but that's a good question as well. I definitely want this game. I'm right there with you. Let's continue looking around and exploring the rest of the, like, little area of map that we do have. I mean, seeing the corn there, awesome. Seeing all those butterflies, awesome. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about is, will there be kind of, like, um, like, different biomes, so to speak? Because the map is so big, right? Or is it going to be all the same like this? Or will there be, like, a dark forest? Or will there be a forest place? Doesn't necessarily need to be dark, but... Will there be like pine trees, giant pine trees, or this or that or that or this, you know? Will there be different biomes in this game? Will there be a big city? Will there be a big town? Will there be vehicles? Because if you look at it and you were to look at this map and say, you know what? I need to go into town today to buy supplies, whether that might be in the middle of the map. Does that mean you have to walk there the whole way or does that mean you get vehicles to drive? I don't know, right? There's a lot of questions surrounding this game. I think they're good questions though, right? Good questions indeed. Kick this? Like, is this a dinosaur egg? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> Super cool feature that if your backpack is full, they send it to your storage. That's a fantastic thing to see in a demo. Wait, is that what you can do? Or is that what you like would be a cool feature to have? Like, if you could just, like, quick sort everything to, like, your inventory type or to your storage, right? <clears throat> different seasons. There you go. Different seasons. Uh, autumn, like, snow, you know? It looks like the mill is broken. Interesting. Hold the fix. How much do I need? One millstone? Missing one item? Millstone? <laughs> okay. This must be millstone, you think? It must be millstone. Wait a sec, can I actually dig that out? No. I think I'll get this when it comes out, it's really cute. I think this is gonna be one of the, it might be like a sneaky little, like one of the next big farming games to come, uh, to come out, whether it be this year or next year. This might be one of the next big farming games to come out. 
I mean, playing it now, I mean, it feels it feels nice. It does. It feels really nice. A group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. Is that right? Like, look at this. There's green beans out here. That's cool. Green beans. Some wild green beans, yeah? Our farm off into the distance. <clears throat> hey, Shadow Wolf, how you doing? Now, big question would be like, how much would this game go for? The fair question. Now, any of these rocks, are they able to, like, no, you can't actually go, th go through that. I would probably, as where I'm standing right now with the demo and seeing how much work has been put into different uh, mechanics and features in the game already, I wouldn't be upset paying, like, $30 for it, right? $29.99 seems like a fair price. Oh, the items are moved to your storage. Okay, so when you pick something up, I see. When you pick something up, it's automatically sent to your storage. That is a nice feature. Okay, good. Yeah, I see. That's a good feature. Uh, so when the when you do, like, let's see if I can find another thing. I could have done it with the green beans, but when you do pick up your when you do pick up something, right, and it's too full, or your backpack is too full, that item that you picked up. Regardless of the state of your backpack, well, I guess if it is full, not regardless, but the state of your backpack, it will go directly to your storage. Now, look at this. <laughs> this is a mountain. These are pine trees. This is something I was just talking about. Like, if there was different biomes. Look at over there. What's over there? Peeking through. You see that? Hey. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Will there be things to discover that's cool like this, right? That's pretty cool. Why do some demos have time limits? I don't know. I'm not sure. I could not answer that question. <laughs> Hi, right here. More of this, right? More forests, more foresty. I kind of like that. Now, one thing to kind of take note here also is that even when we were, um, even when, that one takes nails, even when we were placing items on the farm, free placing items, free placing building, I wonder if there will be things where you can free place things around the entire world, or if it's just stricken to your, uh, farm only type thing, you know what I mean? Do I have a cat? I do have a cat. I have a dog and I have a cat. I named him Garfield. Pretty cool, right? Absolutely pretty cool. That that mountain, that like forest kind of dealio there, right? The forest dealio with the uh, with that like cave formation kind of going. That looked really cool. Yeah. I definitely... This is the kind of game where you just want to, like, keep exploring. But, bravo! That's the end of the demo. The release of the full version is coming soon. Add Everdream Valley to your wishlist on Steam so you don't miss it. Play it again or share your impressions with us. So with the time demo, you can also, I guess, play it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. That is Everdream Valley. This is one thing I absolutely love. The release. The release of the full version. This is the key here. I love seeing that. Because lately, and honestly, you don't get a lot of full version games out anymore. You get a lot of early access games. Games that come out maybe too early sometimes. But the fact that this is going to be a full version game, it's kind of a breath of a fresh air. At least in the indie world when it comes to farming sims. So this is Ever Dream Valley, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody in between. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Make sure to go add this to your wish list. If you want to see this game come to the channel when it is fully released, make sure to hit the like button now before you leave. Comment down below. Let me know that you're excited. How excited are you for this game? You've been waiting for this game for a long time? Or did you just find out about this game today? 
Anyways, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. We will be streaming again tomorrow. And we'll see you all very, very soon. And do as always. Take care.